totally fun. They're tall for you today. If you're new here, hello, my name's Danielle. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by my channel and check things out. I hope you'll enjoy what you see and hopefully wanna maybe check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoyed, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it, dislike it if you don't, and let's get into this. So this particular day, I went to Salvation Army. It's my favorite Salvation Army to go to. There will be, there have been and will be future uh, halls from here because I absolutely love this place. But this particular day, the yellow tags were a dollar and pants, I can't remember, I think red tags were 50% off, but I didn't get anything of that color, so I'm not even really thinking about that. But then pants were 25% off. And kind of some of my last couple of hauls, my goal has been to find pants because it's always easy to find tops, but pants are a whole other story. And so um, that's kind of what I was going in mostly focused on. And then of course I picked up a couple other things too. But what I'm gonna do is put up on the screen the prices that I paid for things because I don't know them right off the top of my head and all the stuff has already been washed and everything. So I don't have the tags, but I took pictures of them before I washed them. I finally got smart and did that so that then I could put up on the screen what I paid for things. But the first thing I found, I absolutely adore this. I wanna make sure I'm showing it the right way. Is this gorgeous scarf. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the print and the colors on it. Now, yes, maybe more springy, but I even feel like for fall. This is um, Scars by Vera, and it says all silk hand rolled made in USA. So this I think is such a beautiful scarf and I was really excited to find it. Scars are always a dollar. So that one, I mean, I already put it on the screen, but just so you know, for future reference, they aren't like a colored tag. They're just always a dollar. Now this next item was not um, a yellow tag. I only bought three things that weren't yellow tags. So that scarf and these next two things that I'm gonna show you. So this is just a really cute, it's um, A-list by Rapper, like W-R-A-P-P-E-R -P -P -E is the brand. It's got little eyelet hooks the whole way. Oh my gosh, you guys. This even over top of like a long sleeve button up like it is so stinking cute and then by itself is a shirt for the summer so right now i can wear it layering for fall and maybe winter if i want to too and then um in the summer just wear it as a shirt and the price couldn't be beat now this is a pair of pants that i was really excited to find these are old navy og straight high rise and um they are a button fly which isn't my favorite but they're the covered like fly so that you don't see that um, because I feel like that draws so much attention, like the buttons lined up there to that area. And that is the area of my body I'm most self-conscious about. So I'm not trying to draw attention to the area. So since it was a covered button fly, I was okay with it. But um, they are short enough. I do have them rolled because I wore them the other day um, with my high top Converse. And I like to kind of roll up pants when I'm wearing those. But these were not a yellow tag, but they were pants and they were 25% off that day. So I ended up getting these, I think I paid like $3.75, I'll have it up on the screen, but I think I paid $3.75 for these jeans. So they're like a, um, they're a black, but like a gray kind of black wash. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't think what that's called. But anyway, I just really liked the color of them and I didn't have anything in this color and um, I was looking for more jeans for sure. Then I also got two other pairs of pants. Um, these ones I've already worn. I've got those rolled because I was wearing my white high top converse with these. These are from H&M and I don't think they say like a specific style. No, but they are just a simple pant like this. The back has the just pockets there, um, but they're like, they're not actual pockets. It just looks like there's pockets and these are so dang cute. I was so happy with the way I styled them. I styled them very casually with a hooded sweatshirt, like a hoodie, <laughs> and um, my white high top Converse, and they were so cute. And actually, my son, who is 21, was like, um, are you channeling your inner five-year-old? Oh, because I had a baseball hat on, too. <laughs> and um, I said, yeah, kind of. And he's like, you pull it off really well. He's like, actually, I think you pull off that style better than a style that someone wears when they're in their 40s. And I was like... Thank you. So I thought that was really sweet. So it made me feel really good. And you best believe I'm going to be wearing that again. And then this other pair of pants I got is, I'm pretty sure it's Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy Pixie Ankle, which I love this style because it just works well for my very short self. If you are new here, I am very short. I am just under five foot one. So for reference, when uh, I'm talking about pant length, 
Anything ankle is usually something I'm drawn toward because it will fit me more like a regular length pant. But I do already own um, and have over the years several of the Pixie pants from Old Navy and really like them. So these, so these ones are, uh, if you can't tell, it's like a navy blue and white check or like gingham kind of. And then these are black and white and it's just uh, the material, I don't know how you'd explain. It's like stripes but with lines that are like, I don't know, you can kind of see. Pockets are the same situation as on this last pair. And so same type of pant that I can wear casually or dress it up. And these were both yellow tags, so I only paid a dollar for each of these pair of pants. Hello. You'll already be seeing, but I'm thinking it as I'm saying this right now, or you know, <laughs> recording right now. I will be putting the original price and then if they were a yellow tag, I'll put in yellow, you know, like they were a dollar so that you see what the original price was of each thing. So that kind of helps to make it even more exciting when you can see what I would have paid, but I only paid a dollar. <laughs> and then, so here's another dollar item. This is actually, um, Country Suburbans is the name of the, um, brand and it is made in the USA. This is like a light corduroy kind of creamy white jacket and it's got the two buttons down in the front here the pockets at the front oh my gosh I love this so much I never reach for light colors so it's something I've been trying to kind of dabble more in because I love the look of it on people and I love the look with dark hair with light colors like this but I'm always just kind of afraid like I'm gonna destroy something and it's not like I'm some kind of slob or something but I don't know I just always worry about it but I could not pass this up like I mean, seriously, a dollar for this jacket. And there's so many ways I can wear it. Again, you can dress these kind of jackets up. You can dress them down with just a tee underneath and jeans and whatever. So I am so happy about it. It's super soft corduroy too. So it's really nice. Then this is the brand Allen Page, also made in USA. This is like a very long, I don't know if it's meant to be a dress, but I think I can pull it off as a dress with tights. Um, it is such a nice, it's like a pretty lightweight, but the material is, I don't know what this is. What's it say? I guess it's just polyester and spandex, but just the feel of it is a little bit different. It's really nice. And the way it's cut in the back and down at the bottom there, like it is so cute. It's nice and long. I can wear just, you know, a tank or something underneath it, or even like a shorter, maybe like body can kind of, uh, dress underneath it would be great and with tights oh, I've got a string down here I need to cut but um I saw this and when I tried it on I was like this is so cute and so same thing you can make this edgy if you want to or you can make it very fancy and dressed up that's what I love about clothes you can make them look like what you want them to look like don't look at something like this and go oh that's a dressy piece it doesn't have to be like you could put on if this is I'm not really like a fishnet kind of girl but if you are I picture this with fishnets and Doc Martens would be freaking adorable so look at things and picture them different ways in your style way because typically if you're somebody who's a little more like rock like that or whatever or just you know funky edgy like that's your style that you might not necessarily look at something like this and think that like to be able to think about it that way that you could style it that way with like a band tee underneath too or something like it's totally perfect. So I love it. And for a dollar, you best believe it was coming into my wardrobe. <laughs> and then the last thing I got that day was actually the last thing that I found. And when I saw this, I was like, are you kidding me? And it was in kind of a weird place too. So I think somebody else had already picked it up and then set it back down. So thank you, whoever that was. It was not a yellow tag. It was, I believe $6.99. Again, it'll be on the screen. But um, I did not care because I'm like, whatever when I touched this on the rack I was like oh and I picked it up well it's a large and I've talked to you guys about before don't only look at tags like sizes pick it up look at it see if it looks like it would be your size bring a measuring tape know your measurements and you can try different things if you don't like have time to try it on or something like that um or don't have a place to try it on our Salvation Army does not have dressing rooms so there's one mirror in the back of the store and if you can get a chance to go back there and like look at stuff over top of your clothes that's what i do otherwise i bring a measuring tape and i know my measurements for like waist on pants and things like that um but tags basically mean nothing a lot of the time because the 
sizes range all over the place between brands and sometimes even within the same brand. So if you see something and you think you might like it, try it on. If there are dressing rooms, heck yeah, take it in there and try it on. You might find something that you absolutely love that you would have passed up because it's not your size. So just, just to keep that in mind, especially if you're going for like vintage things, they usually run way smaller than today's sizing. So like a 16 might be more like a size six. So definitely check that out. But anyway, this was a large. I put this on and I'm like, this is like a hug. It's long. It's got pockets. There is no closure. So it's meant to be worn just open. And so you can wear it like that as a layering piece. If you wanted more warmth, I do have um, like pins that you can pin like cardigans and stuff like that with that you could easily put something like that to hold it closed. But I picture just wearing this like super casually with jeans and a shirt, like a t-shirt or leggings and a shirt or whatever. And just like, oh my gosh, this is so cozy. I made everyone in my house feel it. It's like, I said, I told my husband like, you're not gonna wanna stop hugging me when I have this on. He doesn't wanna stop hugging me anyway. I can't talk. <laughs> but um, it's just like that kind of feeling where you're like, it turns you into a big teddy bear. And I love that. So. I was beyond happy to pay $6.99 for this coat. I cannot believe I almost forgot to show you guys this because this is something I was most excited about. Okay, have you ever looked at something and you're like, that is so ugly that I kind of love it? No? <laughs> well, that does happen to me sometimes. And this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. It's still a little damp on the bottom because I hand washed it and have it hanging to dry, but okay. It is the brand BKE Boutique. It's so ugly and so awesome, all rolled into one. You might disagree and that's totally fine, but it's this sweater. <laughs> okay, so the sleeves are black. They actually have like a little uh, roll at the bottom, like a cuff. And then we've got this kind of beige, different texture on the main, you know, bodice. And then we've got this gaudy as heck gold trim on the uh, pockets and all up the front and around the neck here. We've got these beautiful gold lacy, beautiful gold lacy, um, you know, here on the top. And then this gorgeous green, like it's kind of like a jade, not jade. It's a little lighter than that, but it's not teal. I don't know. Uh, these stones here and then we've got even some rhinestones right here because why not add a little more and the it goes all the way around the back the trim the gold there but the back is pretty plain otherwise but this to me is a perfect example of ugly but there's something I love about it and again something you could dress up but to me I feel like that would make me look like an old lady I'm not an old lady I'm getting there but I'm not yet but to put on just like a funky band tee underneath this and jeans and Converse or Doc Martens or Vans or something like that and make it like a casual, funky, weird outfit, I'm all about that. Like I'm so down with that, it's not even funny. So I was excited to be able to show this to you guys. And for the price, I'm like, I don't care if I wear it one time and go, yeah, no, I don't think I wanna wear this. It'll be worth every penny because it literally cost pennies. So um, yeah, what do you guys think? So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is kind of a quick little uh, haul here, but I can't wait to hear what you think of what I got. What is your favorite piece of all the things that I showed you? And um, yeah, I look forward to hearing it. Please let me know down in the description box what you think. Are you enjoying my haul videos? Um, I would love any feedback that you have. If there's certain kinds of things you would like to see styled, If in particular something in this you know haul that you're like oh, I would like to see how you would style it please let me know that because I am going to be doing some styling videos for you guys and I want to show things that maybe are a style that you're interested in and maybe afraid to dabble in or something that's kind of your style that you're like okay this is my style how would you style it according to this you know like if you are more of a classic dresser or um, are more edgy or whatever it might be. So I want to have a lot of fun with this with you guys and look forward to taking you on this little journey with me. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.